यंदसा ऋषभो विश्व छंदोभ्योभ्यमृतात्सभूव समेन्द्रो मेधया स्पृणत अमृत से देवधारणो भूयासम शरीर मे विचर्षण जिह्वा मे मधुमत्तमा कर्णाभ्यां भूरि विश्रुव ब्रह्मण कोशोसी मेधया पिता श्रुत मे गोपाय ओ शाति 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 स्वामीभ्यो नम सर्वेभ्यो नम मित्रो पहला मंगल निधि ये कहू के शुरुआत में केटलाक शब्दों गुजराती में बोलो एट बोलू छू प्रवचन अंग्रेजी में बोली इट्स अ ग्रेट ऑनर टू बी हियर एंड अ ग्रेट ऑनर टू स्पीक अबाउट what has the right to be called a great work now with your indulgence and i may take a little more time than i've been allowed i would like to place swami madhuresh das's work in a certain context that is there are it's not emphasized enough but there are two branches of thinking in indian in ancient indian thought that is every darshan every system of thinking has a basic text and this text is a sutra text but these sutras begin in different ways on the one hand we have panini's grammar that begins atha shabdanushasanam now the text whereby you receive instruction in shabda that is sadhu shabda correct speech similarly patanjali's yoga sutras begin with atha yoganushasanam on the other hand now the, these are instructions anushasana on the other hand we have a series of texts that begin in a different way there is a tradition called purva mimamsa and uttara mimamsa purva mimamsa begins with jaimini sutra that says atha dharma jigyasa जिज्ञासा नाथ अनुशासनम बादारायण अस ब्रह्म सूत्र बिगेन्स अथा ब्रह्मानु ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा नाथ अनुशासनम दैट इज वी डीलिंग वी हियर विथ टू वेज ऑफ अप्रोचिंग थिंग्स वन इंस्ट्रक्ट्स यू and one inquires there's a jigyasa or synonym for that term a mimamsa that is you you want to know that is jigyasa is gyatum icha the wish the desire to know now what do you want to know and what is it based on the mimamsaka and purva mimamsa wants to know what dharma is what is dharma in his context and jaimini tells us what it is chodana lakshan artho dharma dharma is that purposeful activity which you learn about through chodana that is a vedic command 
sacrifice. Now, in the Vedanta, in the Uttara Mimamsa system, what do you want, what are you inquiring about? That is when you say, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, what is Brahma about whom you inquire? And the second sutra then says, Janmadyasya Yataha Tad Brahma. Brahma is that from which there comes, or he is the cause of this, everything we have here, the world. Now, given this, later texts then take this as a system and inquire about various ways of approaching things. And this is the Vada texts or the Sangraha texts, composites, which deal with things like what is the way of knowing things Pramana. Now, the sutra text has to have accompanying it what is called a bhasha, or bhashya, sorry, bhashyam, which has a very specific definition about what it is. I won't trouble you with that at the moment. But these bhashyas can take a certain text and interpret it in different ways on the basis of scripture. And you can see the difference of opinion and difference of interpretation, and this is, gets me to my point of the Swaminarayana Siddhanta Sudha. That is, when you say yataha, in the second sutra of the Vedanta, of the Brahma Sutra, what do you mean by that? According to Shankara, it means yataha, and it refers to one entity, Brahma. According to the Swaminarayan tradition, on the other hand, it refers to two entities, as Madras very, Madras, Madresh Das very clearly says, Yataha is equivalent not to yasmat from which, but yabhyam from which to. That is from akshara and purushottama. <laughs> now, let me quickly finish by saying something about this work. It's, it fits exactly what a bhashya should be. If you'll permit me, there is, a, there is a technical definition in the tradition of what a bhashya is. Sutra artho yatra varnyate, varnyate yatra padaihi sutranu sarimhihi that text in which the meaning of the sutra is explained in words which follow, are faithful to the words of the sutra. And they have to be clear. And this you will find in this work. You will find in Swami Madresh Das's bhashya on the Brahma Sutras, an absolutely lucid, faithful interpretation of the sutras according to a certain tradition. Now this then, this then tradition has to be summarized, giving the basic tenets, the ways of approaching things, and the arguments. Now another thing that characterizes Madresh Das's work for, 
in contrast to a typical other sort comparable work is the lack of animosity. Typically in other works, you will find a presentation such that you have what is called a purva paksha, then you have to destroy that and show that only your siddhanta is acceptable. Now, in the Swami Narayana Siddhanta Sudha, this is done in a very, very subtle manner. You never realize that he's really arguing against anybody. He is. And in the Bhashyas, he, he does the same thing. It's very, very subtle. Unless you, are, you have your eyes very carefully and your ears attuned to what others have said, you won't realize that he is undercutting what they have said. And this, this is one of the beauties of this work. It's clear. It presents everything you have to know. Instead of calling it a sangraha or calling it a bindu, as some other texts call themselves, this is called a sudha. And it deserves that title. Thank you.